Scorpios, this is All Is Mine Tarot, and I'm here to do your 2023 forecast slash predictions. So we got a lot of juicy stuff to cover, so hopefully um, you stick around for the entire reading. It might be a little lengthy, but I'll try my best, okay? Alrighty, let's go ahead and dive right on in. Spirit, please give us clear, guided, and divine insight for what our lovely Scorpios might experience in the year of 2023. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So the way we're going to do it is we're going to break it down by each month and then we're going to clarify a little further. We're also going to check out some love energies, uh, general energies, and then get some closing messages as well, okay? Alrighty, let's go ahead and get started. Spirit, what do we have for Scorpio for January 2023? Starting off with the Emperor here. It feels like you are taking control of your life in January here. Bossing up, leveling up in some sort of way. Maybe this is in regards to um, your personal life. Maybe a relationship, work, or all of the above. But we will get more clarification. So let's keep going. Jan or, no, we just did January. Uh, February 2023 for Scorpio. Please and thank you. What do we have for February? February. Oh, that one just tried to pop out too. So we got the Two of Pentacles here for February. Feels like... Um, February, you might be very busy trying to balance quite a bit in your life here. This could be mentally or physically or both. All right, what do we got for March 2023 for Scorpio? The three of pentacles. Interesting. Look at that. You got the two and three. It feels like maybe in March you're rebuilding some of your foundations within your life oh so the hermit and the four of cups did pop out i'm just gonna take this as a side message with the three of pentacles here it almost feels like in march you're um It feels like you're trying to dig deep within your soul and in your life and figure out where any dissatisfaction might be coming from here. Interesting. Okay, let's keep going. Um, what do we have for April 2023 for Scorpio? April 2023. Wow, the six of wands. Okay, I see you. Gaining some sort of success, victory, recognition, popularity. In April, what do we have for May? Scorpio 2023, May. Please and thank you, spirit. Wow. Oh my gosh. Okay. So for May, we have the sun and the nine of cups here. So in May here, it feels like some major wish is going to come through here that is going to leave you so ecstatic, so happy feeling so healed, so blessed here. Maybe this is something that, um, something that you've competed for potentially, or uh, maybe um, this happiness and wish fulfillment comes in after some sort of time of conflict. The five of wands was on the bottom when that came out. So anyways, we'll we'll get deeper into it. Um, for June, we have judgment here. 
hearing the call to action here, making some sort of major change in June. What do we have for July 2023, Scorpio? The Nine of Swords in July, maybe a little bit of stress, PTSD. This could be something to do within the home setting, within your relationship potentially, or just in general. What do we have for August, Scorpio 2023, August? The Page of Wands here. Starting off on a new journey here, a new passionate beginning in your life. Potentially even travel here. What do we have for September, Scorpio 2023? And the Four of Cups actually comes out. Maybe in September here. Maybe in September you're waiting for some new offer to come in here. And it's like you're not satisfied with certain things in your life here. But you're waiting on something in particular. Alright, what do we have for October? October, Scorpio, October, 2023. The Page of Swords here for October. Maybe you end up going back to school here or taking a class, learning something new. Okay, um, November, Scorpio, 2023. I'm sorry, did I say 2022? I meant 2023 if I, if I said anything else. November 2023. Wow. Ten of Cups here. Total emotional fulfillment. Happy family. Happy life. Complete contentment here. And then what do we have for Scorpio? December 2023. December 2023 for Scorpio, please and thank you. The Three of Wands, yeah. It looks like by December here, you are very happy with the outcome of your year here. And it's like you're, you're looking towards the future and what else you can accomplish, what else is next. Okay, let's go ahead and dive in deeper here. Spirit, what is this Emperor for Scorpio in January 2023? The Queen of Pentacles. Interesting. What else can you tell us? The Magician. Yeah, it's exactly what I was feeling. It's like, I feel like you're leveling up in your career or financially in January here. It's like you're manifesting abundance and stability here healing what else do you have anything else for january scorpio 2023 yeah the fool as well so clarifying the emperor for january 2023 we have the queen of pentacles the magician and the fool yeah, it's like, it feels like, and if this isn't work-related here, it feels like you have energetically leveled up here in some, some manner of your life. It could be mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually, but it's like you're, you're in control of your life, you're grounded, you're stable, you're ready to take on the world here with this new beginning. It's like... You feel energetically free in January. Yeah, it's like you're ready to go passionately ride forward. All right, what is this Two of Pentacles for Scorpio? February 2023. The Knight of Swords here. Let's see, what else? What else do we have? Scorpio, 2023, February. What is this Two of Pentacles? The Sun again. 
with the high priestess at the bottom of the deck here. It's like in February, it feels like you're so balanced in your life here. It's like you're rushing towards your happiness and your success. It's like you're very balanced. You're, what you're taking action towards is balanced along with your happiness which is so beautiful. I love that. And it's also like you're you're finally listening to your intuition if you haven't been, you know? Or you're letting your intuition guide you on where to go next. What is this Three of Pentacles for Scorpio in March 2023? Please and thank you, Spirit. The Hierophant and the Knight of Wands here. Yeah, it feels like in March, if you're in a committed relationship here, it feels like you're restructuring this relationship. It's like you're rebuilding your foundations by March. Yeah, look at we got... We got you at the bottom of the deck here. So it's like, it feels like you're transforming your commitment to your person if you are in a relationship. And if you're not in a relationship here, it feels like, it feels like you're looking possibly for a partner here. It's like you're ready, ready to transform your love life is what it feels like. All right, what is the Six of Wands for Scorpio, April 2023? Oh, wow, yeah, we have the Ace of Pentacles and the King of Swords here with the Page of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. It's like in April here, you might receive a new job offer here and it's like you're in a very intellectual energy. You're using your logic. Your mind is very sharp in April here. And I feel like you've manifested this new solid offer, this new opportunity here. And whatever this is in April, it's going to be very successful for you. Very, very successful. Yeah, and it's like, wow, this, and then you come into the sun and the nine of cups here. It's like, maybe that's what you're super stoked about. Oh my gosh, yeah. It's like, I literally was feeling like your finances are going to be like through the roof amazing here, like a whole nother level. And clarifying the sun, the nine of cups, is the Ten of Pentacles here with Temperance at the bottom of the deck. So yeah, like you are going to possibly even receive like a major lump sum of money here, potentially even a family inheritance or whatever this new job here is that you are receiving this new offer in April is quickly going to boost your fi finances to like a whole nother level here. And it's like, you know, this is something that you've been extremely patient about, you know, on your way to. That's so beautiful. Okay. Let's see what this judgment card is. What is this judgment card for June? Judgment card for June, Scorpio 2023. What is this call to action? The Page of Cups. Yeah, it feels like you're finally taking action on your dreams. On what makes your heart happy here. Or you might even receive like a, a love message from somebody 
that's kind of like a major wake up call to you. Regardless of if it's a love message or if this is like you reawakening your dreams, like what you're passionate about, it leads you to this. It leads you to answering the call here is what it's doing. Alrighty, what is this Nine of Swords for July 2023, Scorpio? Nine of Swords, please and thank you. King of Wands. The Chariot at the bottom. Let me get a couple more. Six of Swords. Give me one more. What is this Nine of Swords for Scorpio? Okay. I see you. So in July here, in July, you might be a little stressed out about taking the lead on moving forward in some area of your life. Now, this could be like you potentially going single, like leaving a relationship here with this nine of pentacles, or it could be in regards to work. Um, but it feels like in July, it's like you're trying to find your inner power and inner strength here to move on from something but it's like it's stressing you out whatever this is in July yeah and that makes sense with this page of wands in August it's like there's this new journey this new adventure here what is this page of wands for Scorpio in August, the Seven of Swords. Let's see what else? What is this Page of Wands? Please and thank you. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, so that's exactly what I was feeling the month prior here, but come August, you might find out that someone has been potentially deceitful to you or, um, you know, you found out that someone could have been lying, cheating, stealing here doesn't have to be there are levels to the seven of swords here but whatever it is it's like you find out that someone had been playing games with you in some area of your life here and now I mean this could be work or this could be love or it even could be within your family so take it how it resonates but by August it's like you're putting an end to the situation you're showing up here in your in your power card here and it's like you're putting an end to something here come august now it could be with an air sign libra gemini aquarius it does not have to be or you could be in this energy come august like very sharp with your words here very precise um, you know, taking no BS from somebody. What is this death card? What is, what is this death card for Scorpio? Wow. So clarifying death, we have the seven of cups and the six of wands with the wheel of fortune at the bottom of the deck here. It's like, whatever, I mean, it's not, 
being too clear with me, but whatever this situation is, you're putting an end to the confusion here and you're following your heart towards your success and your victory. And it's like the wheel is shifting in your favor here once you make this call to end whatever this is in your life. All right, now what is this Four of Cups in September? Yeah, the Hanged Man. That's exactly what I was saying. It's like you're taking your time, gaining a new perspective on everything in your life here and what you, you are satisfied with and what you aren't satisfied with. And it's like you're... You don't seem too happy with what's in front of you. And it's like you're waiting for this new offer, this new blessing to come in here. And that's exactly what the hanged man is here. He's hanging upside down. And he is gaining a new perspective on his life and his situations here. And he is seeing things from all aspects. Now, it might feel like it's slow. You also have the Knight of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck here. You might feel like you're at a pause or you're at some sort of a delay, but I feel like you are totally right to take a time out here and to figure out what it is that you want. All right, now let's move on to October. What is this Page of Swords for Scorpio 2023 October? like so clarifying the page of swords we have the two of wands here it's like when i said you might be going to school to learn something new or taking a class it's like you're finally making this decision to move forward and see what's on the other side of the unknown here we do have the moon at the bottom of the deck so um this is something that isn't wanting to be fully revealed at this time. Something that you don't see coming. But let's keep moving. All right, what is this Ten of Cups for November? Scorpio 2023. Yeah, it's like, come November, we have... The High Priest is clarifying the Ten of Cups here with the Ace of Swords at the bottom of the deck. So it's like you're finally getting your clarity, your insight, your truth, your wisdom here. You're trusting your intuition on what fully makes you happy. Like what brings you to your fullest emotional fulfillment come November. What is this Three of Wands for December 2023, Scorpio? Scorpio, December 2023. Oh my gosh, stop. <laughs> that is fucking crazy. Oh my god. We have the Three of Wands clarifying the Three of Wands here. With the devil at the bottom of the deck. Wow. I'm sorry. And I have to get another one for that, but that's just a double confirmation here. It's like you're really looking towards the future and what the future has to bring for you. And it's almost like you're releasing yourself from any any toxic or neg negative attachments here that you've been stuck with for quite some time but now it's like come December here it feels like you've freed yourself from all this and it feels like it's taking a little bit of time to really you know get there but all good things take time especially healing but by December 2023 it's like you're ready to take on the world here 
Would you like to give me one more card for the Three of Wands spirit? What is... Oh my gosh. The Two of Swords. And the Moon, again. Yeah. Like, spirit does not want to talk about this because probably because it's supposed to be a secret here and also because it's you know a general reading but you're going to be at a, a crossroads in your life here yeah and it's something that you can't see coming wow okay now let's go ahead and dive into some love energies for each quarter can we get some love energies for Scorpio for the first quarter of 2023? Give me one more. So we have the Page of Wands with the Chariot, the Devil, and then the Page of Swords came out with the Devil here. With the Eight of Swords at the bottom of the deck. So... I feel like the first quarter of 2023... It feels like you are itching to explore, whether that be traveling or exploring internally or exploring other individuals here, but it feels like, um, yeah, with the page of swords here, it's like, it feels like you're coming head to head with some of your deepest, darkest secrets okay let's go ahead and see what we have for the second quarter seeker of keys so that is the knight of pentacles what else do we have for scorpio second quarter ten of wands give me one more scorpio love 2023 second quarter Okay, so we have the Knight of Pentacles, the Ten of Wands, the Ace of Swords, and the Page of Pentacles here. And the Four of Wands at the bottom of the deck. If you are in a relationship here, it feels like you're ready to put in the work to stand the test of time here. And it's like you're getting some new clarity on how you can try to grow this relationship more stable, more nurturing, you know, more in alignment for you. Like, you don't want it to feel like it's a heavy burden. What do you have for Scorpio in the third quarter for love? Three of Wands. Again, you got the Three of Wands three times in your reading. While 333 three, could be significant. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. I have these crazy neighbors upstairs that are literally jumping around. Okay, and then we have the Four of Cups. Give me one more. Oh, we got two. So in the third quarter here, it feels like. It feels like you're an energy of like possibly healing yourself of some pain, loss, but it's like, it's like you're waiting to see like what is going to happen next with you and your person. You might feel a little unsatisfied but it's also like you're re reviewing what is actually fulfillment for you. 
by the third quarter. All right, let's get the fourth quarter. Fourth quarter, love, Scorpio, 2023. Six of swords. What else do we have? And the hanged man again. And the four of pentacles with the hermit at the bottom of the deck. So by the fourth quarter here, it feels like it almost feels like you're being forced to move on from a situation here and you're just holding on to it for dear life. And I think we have the hanged man close to the hanged man, but it's like you're giving yourself time and space to gather your thoughts, your feelings on how to move forward. Okay, now let's start to wrap this up. We'll get some energy oracle cards for each quarter. We get an energy oracle. For the first quarter, we got rest and rejuvenation here. It feels like you're taking... Uh, some really good care of yourself here. It's like you're taking care of your temple. Energy Oracle for the second quarter for Scorpio. Second quarter, 2023. Yeah, we got some anxiety showing up here. And then underneath it, we have door to personal healing and happiness. So yeah, you might be going through some sort of a situation that's giving you anxiety, but it's like you, you're trying to um, find the door to your healing, you know? What is this third quarter energy for Scorpio? Third quarter? Caring connections. Indecision at the bottom. Yeah, it's like um, there's a particular connection in your life where you're, you're needing to make some sort of a judgment call. What do we have for the fourth quarter? So we have the fourth chakra, Archangel Raphael and the garden and the gate with man holding a heart at the bottom. Yeah, it's like, that's exactly what I was saying. You're holding on to some sort of uh, love connection. And this is, you got two heart cards here. Like, it feels like um, you will need to do a little bit of heart chakra healing and cleansing. Okay, now let's close up officially with some of these threads of fate oracle take risk what do we have for scorpio for 2023 power this is almost like the ace of wands too the revolutionary and then at the bottom of the deck we have movement Alrighty, my dears. Well, I hope you enjoyed this reading. If you did, feel free to like, share, and subscribe. Comment down below as you see fit, and I will catch you on the next one. Bye, Scorpio.